Good evening, everyone. This is Brother Brennan coming to you live from Fayetteville, Arkansas, with another daily Bible reading. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to 2 Kings chapter 24, and we will pick up from where we left off. 2 Kings chapter 24. In his days, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up, and Jehoiakim became his servant. Three years, then he turned and rebelled against him. And the Lord sent against him bands of the Chaldees, and bands of the Syrians, and bands of the Moabites, and the bands of the children of Ammon, Ammon and sent them against Judah to, to destroy it, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by his servants the prophets. Surely at the commandment of the Lord came this upon Judah, to remove them out of his sight, for the sins of Manasseh, according to all that he did, and also for the innocent blood that he shed. For he filled Jerusalem with innocent blood, which the Lord would not pardon. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoiakim and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? So Jehoiakim slept with his fathers. And... Jehoiakim, his son, reigned in his stead. And the king of Egypt came not again any more out of his land. For the king of Babylon had taken from the river of Egypt unto the river Euphrates all that pertained to the king of Egypt. And Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned in Jerusalem three months. And his mother's name was Nahushta, the daughter of Ilnathan of Jerusalem. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father had done. At that time, the servants of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up against Jerusalem, and the city was besieged. And Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came against the city, and his servants did besiege it. And Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, went out to the king of Babylon, he and his mother, and his servants, and his princes, and his officers. And the king of Babylon took him in the eighth year of his reign. And he carried out thence all the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king's house, and cut in pieces all the vessels of gold which Solomon king of Israel had made in the temple of the Lord, as the Lord had said. And he carried away all Jerusalem and all the princes and all the mighty men of valor, even 10,000 cap captives and all the craftsmen and smiths. None remained save the poorest sword of the people of the land. And he carried away Jehoiakim to Babylon and the king's mother and the king's wives and his officers and the mighty, and the mighty of the land. Those who... Though, and the mighty of the land, those carried he in the captivity from Jerusalem to Babylon. And all the men of might, even seven thousand and craftsmen and smiths and thousands, all that were strong and apt for war, even them the king of Babylon brought captive to Babylon. And the king of Babylon made Matina, his father's brother, king in his stead, and changed his name to Zedekiah. Zedekiah was twenty and one years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that Jehoiakim had done. For through the anger of the Lord it came to pass in Jerusalem and Judah, until he had cast them out of his presence, that Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. 2 Kings chapter 25 And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came he and all his hosts against Jerusalem and pitched against it. And they built forts against it round about. And the city was besieged unto the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. And on the ninth day of the fourth month, the famine prevailed in the city, and there was no bread for the people of the land. And the city was broken up, 
and all the men of war fled by night by the way of the gate between two walls, which is by the king's garden. Now the Chaldees were against the city round about, and the king went toward the plain, and the army of the Chaldees pursued after the king and overtook him in the plains of Jericho. And all his army was army were scattered from him. So they took the king and brought him up to the king of Babylon, to Riblah, and they gave judgment upon him. And they slew the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes, and put out the eyes of Zedekiah, and bound him with fetters of brass, and carried him to Babylon. And in the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, which is the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up ne Nebuzaradan, captain of the guard, a servant of the king of Babylon unto Jerusalem. And he burnt the house of the Lord, and the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem. And every great man's, great man's house burnt he with fire. And all the army of the Chaldees that were with the captain of the guard break down the walls of Jerusalem round about. Now the rest of the people that were left in the city, and the fugitives that fell away to the king of Babylon, with the remnant and of the multitude did Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carry away. But the captain of the guard left of the poor of the land to be vine dressers and husbandmen, and the pillars of brass that were in the house of the Lord, and the bases and the brazen sea that was in the house of the Lord did the Chaldees break in pieces and carried the, the brass of them to Babylon and the pots and the shovels and the snuffers and the spoons and all the vessels of brass wherewith they ministered took they away and the fire pans and the, and the bowels and such things as were of gold and gold and of silver and silver the captain of the guard took away. The two pillars, one sea and the bases which Solomon had made for the house of the Lord, the brass of all the, these vessels was without weight. The height of the one pillar was 18 cubits, and the chapter upon it was brass. And the height of the chapter, three cubits, and the wreathen work and pomegranates upon the chapter round about all, of brass, and like unto these, had the second pillar with wreathen work. And the second, and the captain of the guard took Seraiah, the chief priest, and Zephaniah, the second priest, and the three keepers of the door. And out of the city he took an officer that was set over the men of war, and five men of them that were in the king's presence, which were found in the city, and the principal scribe of the host which mustered the people of the land, had, and threescore men of the people of the land that were found in the city. And Nebuzaradan, captain of the guard, took these and brought them to the king of Babylon, to Riblah. And the king of Babylon smote them and slew them at Riblah in the land of Hamath. So Judah was carried away out of their land. And as for the people that remained in the land of Judah, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had left. Even over them he made Gedaliah, the son of Achaim, the son of Shaphan, ruler. And when all the captains of the armies, they and their men, heard that the king of Babylon had made Gedaliah the governor, there came to Gedaliah, to Mitzpah, even Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah and Johan the son of Kareth and Sarai the son of Tanahumeth the Netophathite and Jasani the son of a Mahakathite they and their men and Gadaliah swore to them and to their men and said unto them fear not to be the servant servants of the Chaldees Dwell in the land and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well it shall be well with you. And it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael, the son of Natathiah, the son of Elishama of the seed royal, came, and ten men with him, and smote Gideliah, 
that he died, and the Jews and the Chaldees that were with him at Mitzpah, and all the people, both small and great, and the captains of the armies arose and came to Egypt, for they were afraid of the Chaldees. And it came to pass in the seven and thirtieth year of the captivity of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, in the twelfth month, on the seventh and twentieth day of the day of the month, that that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the year that he began to reign, did lift up the head of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, out of prison. And he spake kindly to him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babylon. And he changed his prison garments, and he did eat bread continually before him all the days of his life. And his allowance was a continual allowance given him of the king, a daily rate for every day, all the days of his life. Alright guys, that is the end of the book of 2 Kings. And uh, we will pick up here in a little bit on the book of First Chronicles. I hope this is a blessing to you. Uh, please continue to keep me in prayer and pray that God will take this and do with it as he wills. And I um, want to thank you all for those who will be watching and those who have watched. God bless you guys. Hope this is a blessing to you. And um, just pray that God will just have his way and will in this. Amen. So with that said, I love you guys. God bless you. And we will see you on the next one. God bless you guys. See ya.